Hello and welcome to today's meditation to help us integrate these beautiful, strong solstice energies. My name is Lee and um, I thought we'll, I'll pop on and do a little meditation because I haven't done one in a while and what better day than today. So um, if you are in a position to meditate when you're watching this, brilliant. If not, um, you can just, it should be saved and you can come back and do it later. And today is obviously the 21st of June. Um, but the solstice, solstice energies, you know, you can do this over the next couple of days, you know, but ideally today or tomorrow would be really good. And um, I was shown a beautiful, just a beautiful, gentle meditation. Um, and actually, um, one of the things that I'm doing in my own um, mentorship group with the girls for the solstice is connecting with the earth and connecting with um, a sacred site. So what I was shown for this meditation is that we would connect with Stonehenge. Stonehenge is obviously um, um, very synonymous with the summer solstice. That's where a lot of people like to go and, you know, the positions of the stones are in perfect alignment with, um, with the sun. So um, we don't have to, many of us, you know, can't get to there. Um, and with any sacred site, you don't have to actually physically get there to connect with it. Um, so we're going to just connect with Stonehenge and the energy um, of the stones um, um, just etherically through this meditation. Okay, so just get yourselves nice and comfortable. And I'm just going to grab an essential oil. Um, what better one than Elevation actually? Elevation is a beautiful blend. And it just says what it does in the tin, does what it said in the tin. Okay. So depending on how you like to meditate, you can lie down, you could go outside, you can um, sit down if you fall asleep or if you want to fall asleep, then lie down. <laughs> so just becoming aware of your breath and just making sure that you are not holding any part of your body. You're not crossing your arms, your legs. And I'm just going to invite you to gently close your eyes. I will keep mine, I will close mine and open mine just as I can just so I can tune in and channel the, the meditation. I generally will look over to the right and it's just because it's it's me just that's where my channel comes in and what I see for visualization. It's also I have a door into the garden here, glass door. So it just helps me to see clearly what I'm being shown to bring through for us. So becoming aware of your body, becoming aware of the points at which your body touches the earth or the chair or the bed, whether it is um, your base chakra, whether it is your whole body, the whole back of your body, the body is super important, super important to stay grounded in the body. And today is, today or tomorrow is the first day of cancer season, which is all about the home. And our bodies are our home, so it's important to treat them as such. It's important to feel safe in the body. And many of us don't, so it's definitely a work in progress. So how you feel safer is connecting with Mother Earth, connecting with um, really honouring days like this these beautiful gifts of the sun, which is part of Mother Earth. But it's more connected to um, the masculine energy of the sun of action to help us in our lives with whatever is next for us. And even if we don't know what that is or we're feeling stuck or quite stressed at the moment, um, what happens is the solstice energy comes in almost like um, an activation. It comes in to activate movement for us. And over the next um, coming days and weeks, you'll start to get more clarity. Um, if you can just simply stop to receive and surrender and almost allow the old to fall away. So just breathe in nice and gently in through the nose for three. Breathe in deeply through the mouth for six. And what that allows 
the body to do is to kick into the parasympathetic nervous system of rest and digest. And on your next in-breath, I want you to visualize the light, the light of the sun. It's coming in through the crown of the head. It's like a very strong pillar of light. It's just going in through the crown and it's going straight down the body. And it's almost, it's like a pillar coming in, but it's creating like a spiral energy going down through our body, going down through our chakra system, our endocrine system, our nervous system, cellular system. And it's almost like, um, if you visualize, I'm, I'm just seeing a corkscrew, just going down, 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 into the earth to really grind us at this time. And as the light comes in through our system, any old energy that's gathered around that has built up um, worries, fears, and has stressed us, even physical pain, emotional pain. I want you to visualize that just leaving your body, almost like a, a magnet. It's just leaving the body. It's been magnetized and pulled down out through the body from Mother Earth. So as the sunlight comes in, the darkness just leaves through, down through the base, down through the legs, and through the feet, into the earth. And I want you to connect with the earth star chakra. Or just visualize um, a marker bar, visualize a star shape, the circle around it, and you're standing in the middle of it. And that's just your foundations. And then above your head is the soul star chakra. Again, visualize that as another marker bar, another star shape. And it's just, just a beautiful column of light that you're in the middle. And just open your heart and set an intention to receive, to surrender, to let go. And set an intention here would be very beautiful, it would be very powerful. Whatever you're wishing to be, to achieve, to release, to call in. Any intentions will be magnetized at this time. The solstice or litha is it's like a powerful doorway. Doorway of opportunity. It's almost like um riding the wave of this energy to bring you what you wish. And I'm now being shown us walking towards Stonehenge. And I have not been, I drove past it by hatch and I haven't been. So I'm being shown us just walking on the grass, just in bare feet, um, in our truest, wildest form, our truest, authentic self, just walking, very primal movements, very free. We're just walking towards the stones. And when you go to a sacred site, it's really important to just connect with that site and connect with the gatekeepers of the land and of the earth. Ask for permission. And again, if you're not sure on that, just connect with God. And it just allows you to enter a real healing place. And you're going to approach this stone circle. And there will be many of us in a circle. But if you just visualize, just being guided to one particular stone. That's the one that resonates with you. Whatever particular alignment that stone has with the sun is a similar vibration to you. And 
I'm just going to visualize your eyes closed as the sun comes up. And it's like this beam of light just shoots down through your crown of your head, down through your body. And it almost like um, cracks you open. So um, to allow the light in, just we can call it carry much baggage, external baggage. So it's almost like um, it's just cracking open. The old outer layer that's not needed is just falling away to get to the real you. It's like a really free in energy and two energies and two um, that I'm feeling and tuning into with this particular summer solstice of 2022 is renewal and power. So you're going to feel this renewal energy coming in and just reviving you and you will feel a little bit more renewed day by day, week by week over the next um, coming days and weeks. And it's right, it's like a recall of power. And really what power means is it's like a, a rebalance. You fully in your power is is you and your energy, is you completely balanced in your masculine and feminine. So just allow that energy in. Allow it to come in through the crown, allow it to move down through from the heart, the tummy, the base chakra down the legs, the calves, the soles of the feet deep into the earth. You can almost feel the tingling going up and down the body, the connection, the groundedness. And I just want you to follow that light down through the feet, almost like roots of a tree going into the earth. And you're gonna go deep, 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 deep into the earth until you um, visualize or get a sense of an anchor to so really grounded, really rooted at this time. <sighs> and then we're going to bring you back into your body, back into the room. And you're just going to visualize your chakra energy centers closing. You're going to visualize just wiggling fingers and toes. Placing your left hand in your heart. Just be reminded of your intention. And you can either um, ask for guidance on next steps. Or my sort of feeling is just leave it. Just let it come when it's ready to come. And if you think of the sun energy, <clears throat> it's the sun of God, it's the sun, it's the masculine, it's the sun is gold in colour, it's the colour of the solar plexus, it's the colour of joy, it's the colour of fun. And I'll just do something that feels good today or this week or this weekend. <clears throat> and that will look different for everybody. Something just that um, lights you up. I just want to thank you for joining me. I want you to wish you a beautiful, um, happy solstice, happy Litha 2022. And um, yeah, speak to you soon. Much love. Bye bye.